Why? Because he's given every human being the free will. A free will. He does not violate your free will. That's why you got to will stuff. Oh, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You got to will stuff. And with your words, you're willing stuff. Mm. I want this job. You're willing stuff. I want to buy this house. I'm willing stuff. Sir, you saw five houses. Which one do you want? I want this one on this street. You're willing stuff. You're going to get this today. And when you speak God's word, your, your, your will lines up with his will, and you got another winning combination. You're willing stuff. But when you speak other things contrary to God's word, guess what? You're willing that, too. Even though you don't want it, you do it out of frustration, you know, the way it looks, you know. But God says, stick, stick with the script. I share this story often, but I believe it's appropriate in this context, again, so we have so many new people. Uh, there's a man in New York City. He's always wanted to be on Broadway. And, uh, but he's broke. He hitchhiked to, to New York City, didn't have any money. And uh, he saw this guy has a little room, room above the liquor store, not far from Broadway, about 50, maybe about a couple miles or so. And uh, he said, can I stay there? I don't have much money, but I, I'm just cold outside. I'm from, I'm from California. I'm not used to this kind of cold. He says, well, I have mercy upon you. You can stay in that little room in the corner in the back, a little closet room. Uh, don't have no bathroom, but, you know, you can stay there for a while and, until you get on your feet, and I'll work with you. And so he says, fine. He gets up the next morning, sees a little throwaway paper about job opportunities and, on Broadway shows, and he saw, saw the particular one, and he said, it sounds like me. He went down there and auditioned for the part. <clears throat> He's broke, have no money, been broke for a long time. And uh, the part says, he reads the part, and so he auditions and says, you got to read, you got to uh, audition for the part. And the part is, the, is a wealthy uh, developer. And uh, he builds uh, condominiums and, and apartment buildings and, and, and office buildings here in, in New York and the East Coast. And that's your part. And, uh, <clears throat> and so he, 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 uh, he did really well. In the audition, but then it's time to go, go ahead and, and do, and do the, uh, and act the part. He said, read the script. He says, uh, I can't do this. You did well in the audition. We picked you. you. You're the ideal person. You can do this. He said, I read the script, and, and you don't know, I'm broke. <laughs> I don't have no money. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't, I don't, this, this says I have my own, my own private jet. I, I don't have no jet. I, I, I had no money to fly. I, I hitchhiked down here <laughs> from California. I mean, the part says you had a big party with you for your daughter and your wife, you know, to celebrate and your family and friends, and, and you, you brought by your family over and you pay for the whole thing. And no, you don't understand. I don't have any money. You know what it tells you? Stick with the script. All you got to do, you got the goods, you're a good actor. Stick with the what? I'm telling you, stick with the scriptures. In spite of how you feel. In spite of how it looks, when you go back home like this man, go back home to a little room up in the corner with no bathroom, stick with the what? Script. And in a natural, him sticking with the script, it does well. He does well with his part. They like him. Guess what? He gets another part, and he gets paid and paid, and now he's on a roll in his career because he stuck with the what? Script. He felt like, it looked like, he experienced naturally. You can't go by that when God gives you a script for your life. And that's called the Word of God. But too often, you know, other things, we hear voices, things happen, and we get off script. This is why the Bible is so important. This ministering to you? Yes. 